So step five is all about drawing the network. And now I don't expect you to be doing this, but for you as a business professional or for you as an aspiring IT professional, then you should have some input into this. But this is really where your network administrators and your network managers are gonna sit down with your IT managers and they're going to design this network. But everything that you did so far that you assisted them with, where you provided input into, that's gonna lead us up to step five. And so by the time that we reach this step, we have a really strong idea of everything that we need. Because if we don't, we really can't build out our design. We can't draw anything if we don't know what we need. So up to this point, you know the purpose of the network. You know what the network's going to be used to do. You know the number of users and the number of computers that you're going to need to support on the system. You know if you're going to be using a centralized architecture or if you're going to do peer-to-peer. -peer. And you should have an idea of the network topologies that you're going to need to use as well. And so in this step, these people, these professionals, your network administrators, your network managers, and your high level, your really, um, your really in-depth knowledge IT professionals are going to sit down and they're going to draw the physical and logical design of this network. So what they're going to do is they're going to draw a physical layout of where the equipment goes on the blueprint. So you're going to have a blueprint of all the offices and cubicles and everything else. And they're going to lay out where everything's going to go on that physical layout design. They're going to put the server equipment in the server room. They're going to locate the networking equipment in the networking closets. They're going to locate where all the printers go throughout the office. They're going to place where all the computers go and the cubicles and the offices, so forth. And so that's going to be the physical design. That's going to show us physically where everything goes. And then on top of that, we're going to have them do the logical design. And so that's where they're going to assign the IP addresses throughout this network. And it may be multiple networks, so they may have multiple different IP address schemas. And that's where they come into play as the experts. And at this point in time, they're going to determine if they need to subnet or not. So if they were given a Class C, a Class B, or a Class A network, they're going to determine the most, most efficient way to utilize those IP addresses and to determine what to use and to determine if they're going to subnet or not. So that's step five. Now, like I said, this is not your job. This is the network managers and the IT managers and the network administrators and IT administrators. That's their job because they're going to have a better idea of how to do this than us as business professionals and us as non-techies and for us as beginning IT people. But we are going to provide input along the way. So now let's go ahead and let's take a look at step six in the next video.